What's up, GoHomie? We're back. This is Janet. And Anastasia. And, and GPA TV starts, starts right, right now. now. There's no school November 22nd through the 26th due to th Thanksgiving break. On December 3rd, high school will be having a bash from 5 to 7 p.m. And on December 13th, there's going to be Makeup Picture Day. Are you going to go, Janet? Yes, I missed the last one. Same. Now, on to sports with Quad. <laughs> What's up, go homie? It's Quat back with your weekly sports. Congratulations to the 2021 Boys Varsity Pacific League champion. Our very own go homie student, Caleb. Caleb came first in our league, took 10th overall in the conference, and voted by Pacific League coaches Varsity Runner of the Year. The winter sports schedules have been released for girls basketball and boys basketball, girls soccer, and boys soccer. Girls with wrestling and boys middle school basketball schedules to come soon. Make sure to check out the Go Homie website athletics tab for more information on when these sports have their games. Make sure you come and support our boys basketball at Rubio's Coastal Grill. The fundraiser starts at on Monday night, November 29th from 4 to 8 p.m. at Rubio's, 4201 Oceanside Boulevard. Use the coupon code DONATE for online orders or present the flyer at checkout. The seniors versus juniors flag football game has come and went, with the seniors winning 26 to 20. Here are some clips from that game. Thank you to all the students who came to play, and we hope you had a good time. I know I did. Congratulations to the girls soccer team for the win on Tuesday. They played with only 10 players on the field and still came out with a victory. Congratulations, Lady Frogs. The boys soccer team ended up tying their game one to one. Now, on to professional sports. Firstly, the United States has taken a massive win against Mexico in the World Cup qualifiers. The final score of the game was two to zero. Here's a highlight clip from that game. Corona, this is Weyer for the US. And Weyer does well, very well. Christian Pulisic with a potentially decisive moment against the old enemy in a World Cup qualifier. On the pitch for a matter of moments with that innate and perfect sense of timing. defining moment for a growing yet youthful team. Wow, what a game for the U.S. The average age of the U.S. team was 24, with the average age for Mexico was 32. The USA then tied against Jamaica with the final score being 1-1. Here's some clips from that game. Hang it off. Weah with a burst of acceleration into the box. It's Weah! And it's a goal for the United States! It's Stardust football from Timothy Weah to open the account. And the front runner once again. Andre, it's not always about how much possession you have, but how effective you are with the ball. And Timothy Weah. Antonio from distance. Antonio! With a, it's a play that actually comes from nothing. It looks like it's a harmless play. He's able to sneak in behind Tyler Adams, who's recovering there. Just shifts it on his right foot and just absolutely puts his laces through it. Nothing Zach Sefton can do. He's trying to scurry over and get his outstretched body there, but it's just too much power, too much pace on the ball. And the troubles continue our, our neighbors in the south as Mexico loses to Canada 2-1 to one in the snow. Here are the highlights from that game.
Playing in the cold can be rough for any athlete, especially when it, this is reported to be the coldest weather that Mexico has ever played. I can just imagine how difficult this game must have been to play in. Very difficult. Now, on to Thursday and Monday Night Football. Thursday night, the Patriots take on the Falcons at 5.20 p.m. Monday night, the Giants take on the Buccaneers at 5.15 p.m. Well, I know I'm going to watch those games. That's all for the news this week, Gohomi. This has been Quat, signing out. Congratulations to Senior Bell Melody for being GPA's Rising Star Award winner for November. The Rising Star Award honors local high school senior for demonstrating character, integrity, love for learning, involvement in school and community activities, and or the ability to overcome challenging life circumstances without compromising their education. The core of the Rising Star of the Month is a student who makes a difference in their home, school, and community with sincerity and passion. Good job, Belle. Good job, Belle. Now on to entertainment with Christian and Cameron. What's up, go home, it's Cameron. And Christian, bring you the weekly entertainment. Good news. Entertainment will expand the amount of content we show right after Thanksgiving break. Some examples are interviews with students, teachers, and staff. We will be involving ourselves more with the school. Yes, sir. Got some horrible news. Travis Scott has been falling off ever since Astroworld. After the many deaths, there has been lawsuits and hate towards him. Justice for the people who sadly passed away. There was eight deaths and many more ended up in the hospital. Um, rest in peace to those who lost their lives. Yep. Yeah. Let's hope for a speedy recovery for those people who suffered in this tragic incident. On a on happier note, Thanksgiving is right around the corner, and we all have the week off from school. Yes, sir. I'm going to go on a 10-day cruise and going all over the world. What that's, are you going to do? That's amazing. I'm just going to work more. That's tough. That's really, it really does. Ghostbusters Afterlife is releasing tomorrow as well as Adele's new album. Make sure you go check that out if you're interested in it. I'm going to watch the new Ghostbusters movie. Yeah. It, I really like the series. Well, that's all for this week, homie. It's been Christian. And Cameron. Now, now back, back to, to the, the studio. studio. And happy Thanksgiving. Middle School Pride Club would like to invite you to make your classroom a safe space for all by hanging an attached poster in your classroom. And Middle School Pride Club will be putting together a booth next Friday, November 19th at lunch for Transgender Awareness Week. Okay, that's it for this week, homie. This has been Janet and Anastasia signing, signing out. out.